Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Happy last day of 2016. And tomorrow we start a brand new year. Um, so I hope you have a wonderful, safe uh, ring in and uh, everything you need to have happen in 2017. Let her happen. Mmm. Gotta love the coffee. Anyway, um, so a couple questions. Uh, someone asked me about the amount of tallies I have. <laughs> uh, current count is five, which I think when we started this year, I had zero. So, yeah, I, I did kind of go crazy uh, with Fender. Um, during 2016, but it's been a cool ride. Um, I initially started on a Stratocaster uh, when I was 12, and uh, I really never went back. Uh, I learned on that guitar. I ended up getting, I think my second guitar was an Epiphone Les Paul Standard, the Heritage Cherry Sunburst, you know, pretty, pretty traditional. Even my first guitar was a black and white Strat, which I stickered all up. And, uh, yeah, I really haven't had any Fender since. I think I had a Fender Acoustic at some point, but, yeah, this year I, I got a Stratocaster last year, and I used, or maybe not last year, maybe the year before, and I used that pretty heavily um, on some recordings. And then Tellys, man, I just, I went to Guitar Center one day. I was really interested in that limited edition um, mint chocolate chip, as I call it. It's a surf green with the rosewood neck and fingerboard. I was really interested in that one. They happen to have one. I played it and I was blown away. I also played an Elite Tele and a Standard Tele. I wasn't as impressed with the other ones they were offering in 2016, but I, I did really like that one. So went and bought that. Obviously got that Jazz Master hang back there. Um, I did pick up that other Magnificent 7 uh, American Standard Telecaster with the matching headstock, which is awesome. I do have a demo on that coming. And I had the 72 thin line already, and I had a Chris Shiflet or a Tele. And, um, which sadly, I, I think the Shiflet Tele is gonna go. Um, I recently acquired this for Christmas, so thank you to my wife. Um, but this is pretty cool. This is the 2017 um, Fender Tele Deluxe, uh, or I guess Fender American Professional Deluxe Telecaster, or whatever you want to call it, um, which is this beautiful uh, slate gray, or not slate gray, sonic gray, man. But it has twin shawl buckers in it, um, standard you know, Telecaster Deluxe setup, like a Les Paul. Um, it's got that new neck, which is really thin up here, and then baseball batty up here. Um, not really, but it, it does get thicker as it moves up. It has a, these narrow, tall frets. Supposedly to make bending easier, honestly, I don't really find any difference. Um, other than that, it's pretty standard. But yeah, man, cool guitar. I think I'm gonna check out um, some others of the 2017 line. So, don't be surprised if I come back with a uh, <laughs> an olive green Strat or maybe one of those Mystic Sea Foamy uh, Jazz Masters or Telecasters. But hey, if you want to hit me up for that uh, Shiflet Tele, let me know. But uh, no, in all seriousness, um, I ignored tallies for a really long time. So <laughs> I, I, I did take quite a liking to them. The uh, next thing I wanted to talk about was just 2016 gear review, which kind of bleeds in from the question I got about the Telecasters. I mean, I, I went back or I probably went to Fender for the first time heavily in the 20 some years I've been playing. Um, I also went back to Mesa. I mean, I still love my oranges, as you can see over here. Uh, those probably aren't going anywhere. Um, but yeah, I picked up a dual rectifier. I picked up a stiletto ace. 
finally got my hands on a Lone Star, Lone Star Special, um, which I'll have demos of this stuff coming out. Uh, time, unfortunately, is not as kind as you know you'd like it to be, but um, yeah, I've been totally impressed by those. Um, the thing about mesas is it's, it's a lot of preamp distortion, and when I was playing out a lot, I gigged with a Roadster half stack, and you know that was all fine and good, covered a lot of ground. Um, but overall, you know, when I, I started recording again, I wanted something different, and I got really into Orange, and I've really enjoyed those. And um, yeah, they're just fantastic amps. You know, other than that, I don't think I had many. I, I did get some new pedals throughout the year. Um, I, I really like that new, or not new, but new to me anyway, um, MXR El Torino Overdrive. I think that pedal's fantastic. I'm using it a lot and some stuff, and uh, I find you can get some similar tones with like the Lone Star, pushing it at the five watt mode, that kind of thing. Um, but I also did get like a couple really cool I got a uh, the Government Series 335. That's a fantastic guitar. The pickups are so hot in that being Dirty Fingers that it just it pushes the clean <laughs> way past in the breakup that uh, you can get some glorious tones doing that. So, but yeah, 2016 was good as far as gear. Um, got the Golden Empire project done. Hopefully, in the next month, uh, the Exact Zero project will be completed and the first EP will be out. And then uh, who knows? I did start work on the second Golden Empire record. Um, yeah, and just more demos to come. So if you have questions, please ask them. If you have, you know, comments, leave them. Um, like and subscribe. I appreciate it more than you could ever know. Um, I did start up an Instagram account. Uh, the link will be below. Um, check out the other Golden Empire links. And uh, I think next time I'll have a special treat maybe an intro to everything now and uh plenty demos of the new telecaster uh coming in fact this week is going to be a demo and review of the guitar so about seven minutes of me noodling and then two minutes of me talking about it but overall now that i've spent almost a week with it or no i guess it has been a week um it's great i really like it uh the neck's a little dark but the bridge is great. Feels good. Sounds good. So awesome. That brings us to a close for this week. Again, hope 2016 was kind to you. Be safe. And I hope 2017 is awesome. Happy New Year. And I will see you next week.